Courtney Arkeen from the 128th District Court in Orange County. Judge, it's good to see you. Good to see you too, Jordan. Thanks for having me. Uh, some good questions today. This first one from one of our viewers who wants to know, can a mental health professional tamper with a child's statements from confidential sessions while testifying in court? And what can happen to that mental health professional? Sure, Jordan, the short answer is no, they cannot tamper with the child's statements. Now, in our area, we have the Garth House, which was developed so that a child could go and give their statement to a trained professional and have it videoed and only have to tell that story one time as opposed to telling it three or four times to different agencies. So that's a protection that we have here, typically in criminal cases. If you're talking about a custody case, they have to report exactly what the child says and they can use their notes to do that. There are HIPAA issues, they're entitled to privacy, but typically in child custody cases where you have to get to the best interest of the child, it is allowed to give accurate statements. If they don't, you should report them to the Texas Behavioral Health Executive Council, and you can find that online. Okay, get to Googling. We hope you guys work that out. Uh, the second question is from someone who says, I'm the victim of a crime, and I've been waiting months for the DNA results to be returned so the man can be indicted. Why does it take so long? Well, this is a problem that we deal with quite frequently in the courts and judges and attorneys and victims get upset about. The issue is uh, you can submit only a small portion of items to the state crime lab to have them tested for DNA or drug samples that you submit for a drug case. You can usually only submit up to 10 and then they decide which of those 10 to test. You can then submit them later, but this all takes additional time. It is a fair statement to say that it takes approximately 12 to 18 months to get DNA and drug test lab results back from the crime lab, which is in direct conflict with what you see on crime shows where it's done <laughs> in 30 minutes. Yeah, 12 to 18 months, so a year to a year yes. and a half. Yeah, so they've gotten backed up with COVID. They are getting better, but that's an accurate statement. Okay. Uh, we have just a minute left for a final question. This person says, I'm a friend of a defendant and have made several attempts to contact the court and the judge. No one will talk to me. How do I make sure the court hears what I have to say? What do you think? So judges have ethical standards that we have to abide by and we are absolutely, um, we have to abstain from speaking to anyone involved in a case or that has a case that could come before the court. So we cannot make public comments and that extends also to the court personnel because oftentimes you know people and want to help them, but unfortunately we're prohibited from doing so. Okay, well, it's good to make that distinction and hopefully folks understand you guys are bound by these parameters. I mean, it's the law. Yes, absolutely. And we could get uh, our licenses taken from us and debench, so to speak. Yeah. Judge, we appreciate you making time for us. It's always good to see you. Thank you. Folks, if you have questions for the judge, go to 12newsnow.com slash ask the judge, and there's a form to submit right there.